Hi, I'm Katie Wright, and I'm the Product Marketing Manager for the new 4200A Parameter Analyzer. And with me today is Marianne Tupta, one of Keithley Applications Engineers. We're here today in the Keithley Labs to show you a few tips and techniques on how you can make AC and penis measurements along with DC IV measurements. As some of you may have experienced, when making these different types of measurements, you have to end up changing your test setup, change your cables, even lift the probe needles off your device under test in order to make the change in the setup. This often is very time consuming and can lead to errors. So let us show you how to make these measurements much easier and give you confidence that the results you're getting are accurate. Let me show you how easy it is to make IV and CV measurements automatically. I've already created a project for automating IV and CV measurements on a MOSFET, but you can easily use a project that already exists in the project library. By typing in a keyword such as CV IV and clicking on the search button, projects that have already been created will appear in the project pane. These tests that appear in the project pane can be modified and customized to a particular application. Let me show you the project tree that I developed. The name of the project that I created is MOSFET IV and CV test. The first item in the project tree is a compensation routine which enables you to correct for gain and offset errors due to the cabling and connections between the output terminal and the capacitance meter and the device under test. Next in the project tree is an action that enables the user to switch the four SMUs in the test circuit to the four terminals on the MOSFET. This particular test configuration allows you to change the names of the terminals that will appear on the side of the CVIV module. The next item in the project tree is where the VDS, ID, or Drain family of curve test is configured. From the configuration panel, we can set up the current and voltage levels which will be output by each SMU. And in this particular example, the gate voltage is controlled by SMU3 and the drain voltage and drain current will be measured by SMU2. So once the IV measurements are made, the project tree has an action to close switches to perform the CV measurements. And in this particular example, I'm going to be connecting the high terminal of the CV meter to the gate and the low terminal of the CV meter will be connected to the source, drain, and bulk terminals tied together. This can be done automatically using the CV IV switch. And finally in the project tree is a routine for doing the CVU measurements on the MOSFET itself. So in this case I have the high terminal of the CVU connected to the gate of the MOSFET and the low terminal of the CVU is connected to the other three terminals together. I've just walked you through my entire project. Now all you have to do is press run to automatically get your IV and CV measurements. So once we've finished executing our test, you can click on the analyze button and you could automatically see results. Here are the CV measurement results from testing the MOSFET. And if you click on the VDS ID test, automatically you will see the SMU results, the drain family of curves. So another tip I want to give you is when you're making an AC measurement and you're noticing that your readings are very noisy, there's a very simple way to check your test setup. Now let's go in and I can show you what that looks like. So in our software, under the CV test, you can come to the terminal settings and go to the advanced tab. And in the advanced section, this area allows you to switch where your AC source is measured and where your DC source is applied, just with a very simple mouse click. So you can see here, I've switched from CV high to CV low, where we measure the AC, and I'm switching from CV high to CV low for your DC. What this does for the measurement is you don't have to recable or reconfigure your test setup. You can easily switch where the AC is measured to the least noisy terminal. 
very simply with a click of a mouse. With these techniques, our engineers at Keithley Instruments has worked hard to make sure our new 4200A parameter analyzer reduces the time it takes you to set up your tests, also to reduce the confusion often that comes with mixed measurement modes, and to provide features that makes your characterization testing easier, which allows you to stay focused on your research.